Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks, and the most popular event of the year, which is usually Holiday Ops, is back for 2021. And yeah, spoilers, Chuck Norris is going to be in the game. In today's video, I'm going to try and break down the very complicated procedure of participating in Holiday Ops, and let you know what kind of goodies you have to look forward to. So the first thing that you need to know is when does this event start, and that is December the 9th, and it's going to run through to January the 11th, so Holiday Ops is going to run for an entire month starting from next Wednesday, at least on the European server. Now, to break down the event, Wargaming have got a video on their official YouTube channel, and if you want to see this without having a Muppet like me talking over it, then I thoroughly recommend you go and check it out there. But hopefully I can embellish on what they present and provide my multiple years of Holiday Ops experience to try and give you tips and tricks as well to be able to get through it. The holidays are coming. That time of miracles when every house gets filled with a magical atmosphere. Magical holiday ops, yes please. Okay, what have we got to look forward to? This year, the celebration is moved from the garage in the woods to a cozy festive town in the mountains. That we all don't get to visit because we're all stuck inside. Well, at least we can visit it in a virtual world. <laughs> oh, sorry, did this just get too real? In the new garage, is your first gift. Okay, gift tanks. What are gift tanks a usually? A free garage slot. Destroyer with an what? Auto -loader and some other nice what? little bonuses. A tier 4 auto-loading German tank destroyer? So I went digging around to try and find some statistics about this mysterious PZSFL 1C. It was actually super tested back in September, although when it was being super tested, they didn't present it as having an auto-loader. It is on the Tanks GG website. This thing looks not the fastest, but fairly fast. And it does have a semi-turret, as we're going to see here, able to aim 10 degrees to the left and 10 degrees to the right. So it's not going to be like a T67 at tier 4. But that DPM looks really nice. If they have kept it like that, I would be strongly surprised if they did, if they give this thing an autoloader as well. And if it's kept the five centimeter gun, I can't really see how this thing's going to have more than probably a couple of rounds in the magazine. If it has four with 70 damage, yeah, we'll have to see what the intraclip reload will be. Because on a low tier autoloader, it's all about the intraclip. All in all, though, this thing doesn't look like it's going to be the worst tank in the world. But with an armor loadout of only 50 millimeters and a gun shield that's only 15 and 20 millimeters thick, I'm sure that all of you players out there using all of your derpy tanks, I'd hate to see you playing that new tier 4 American medium tank with the 105 millimeter derp when everybody takes these out onto the battlefield. Garage slot, yeah. I wonder how many people Fill are going to sell this for it. Magic and decorate it to your liking. Okay, so the first thing to mention about all the holiday ops is you can put decorations on your trees to increase your Apart festive atmosphere. The usual decorations, there are some new ones. What are they? A bull, a golden bull, and a sled, motor sled thing. That looked pretty funky. I'd like to have one of those. Doesn't usually snow too much in the UK, though. Unpack decorations from small boxes. Okay. And create your own unique holiday atmosphere. Yep, increase your holiday atmosphere Small to build to unlock bonuses. Now be received along with the standard rewards for completing daily missions. That's pretty good. Daily missions so you can get yourself boxes. As well as for completing missions from a special guest. Who is the special guest? I wonder who it could be. I can't believe he's actually in the game. Can you honestly believe Chuck Norris is in World of Tanks? Must be a hard hard time for film goers, right? <laughs> Don't worry. Let's roll. <laughs> this year, it is Chuck Norris himself. Oh who dear. Will over the festive atmosphere. There's gonna be so many dad jokes on my stream. Be as cool as him? Complete missions from Chuck. Complete special missions. Wow. And in addition to small boxes, earn unique and useful rewards. From Chuck himself. A holiday ops vehicle slot, inscriptions, decals, wow. metal. A 2D style, and of course, Chuck Norris. Whoa, you can get him as a commander? When oh. You've completed most of his tasks, he will become the commander of one of your vehicles. Oh. And what a commander That's a really cool is. style. He will have three That's skills a cool style. already trained. Three skills. Brothers in arms as a zero per. Okay, brothers as a zero. Repairs. Six cents. Wait. As well as enough experience to train one more skill or perk. That's great, but if he only has if he only has brothers in arms as a zero skill crew, that means he's not as good as Santa Claus. And I thought the I thought that Chuck Norris was the most badass man in history. Well, apparently Santa's got one up on you, Chuck. <laughs> and most importantly, he will have a unique voiceover. The only person who can harm Chuck Norris is 
Norris is me. Chuck Norris. It's so it's so also, I like the way he's playing to it. Playing to the meme, that's brilliant. Vehicles make the return this year. Choose any vehicle in the tech tree and reduce its price. You can what? even apply the discount to unresearched vehicles. Oh, fantastic. Let me rewind that for just a second. Actually, why don't I go on to Wargaming's website? So this is actually amazing. This hasn't happened since I think it was 2016 for the Swedish tank destroyers, I believe, where you can actually get a pickable discount for your vehicles. And so this means that if you complete your missions from Chuck, and let me clarify, this isn't for your festive atmosphere as it was previously. It looks like it's for completing missions from Chuck. Then you can get a 100% discount on tiers two, three, and four for the credit purchase, an 80% discount at tier five, which gradually goes down to a 20% discount at tier 10. Now, 20 20% discount at tier 10, that's still not quite as good as you could pick the vehicle up for if you were to do it during a top of the tree, but that's still by no means bad. And I wonder if we will get the Italian auto reloading heavy tanks before that period when the event ends. And if it does, you want to apply it to them for sure. And hey, 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 just between you and me, if you already have all of the vehicles in the game because you're a big no-lifer, then you could sell the tier one, tier two, one, tier three, one, tier four, one, tier five, and one, tier six. And then you could buy them back at a discount, although it's probably only going to make you a few hundred thousand credits if you can be bothered. But if you do decide to do this, make sure you put all of your stock modules back on your vehicle and don't sell your upgraded guns because that would kind of defeat the point. Choose any vehicle in the tech tree and reduce its price. That's fantastic. I love it. You can it. even apply the discount to unresearched vehicles. Basically free credits. A apply the discount to unresearched vehicles? They wow. are cumulative and can be completed at the same time. If you skip several days, you will be able to complete all the accumulated missions in one go. Several days, so I don't Each know exactly how many you'll have to twice skip. To receive rewards more quickly. Okay, your spend your dust if you want to skip or just more play the mission. With each new festive atmosphere level. And for that, you will receive festive presents. A medal. Okay, let me pause here and take a quick look at this, because this is usually a diagram of wins. So it looks like we're getting female tankers at festive atmosphere three, five, seven, and nine. Looks like you get a snow maiden reward at four, six, eight, and ten. So does that mean that you're going to be able to get eight new female tankers for your garage? Also, it, while the blueprint system hasn't really been used all that much recently, considering they've kind of taken out the random nature of receiving them, it looks like you're going to be able to get 20 national fragments for every nation. Wait a minute. I can't see Italy. Why are there no fragments for Italy? Those are what we want to be able to go up the tech tree as quickly as possible. Whew. Okay, don't panic. I actually have noticed that this and five more down here. Don't worry. You're not going to be missing your Soviet fragments. You're not going to be missing your Italian fragments because Wargaming decided to put those at festive atmosphere 10. Understandably, because those fragments are going to be very sought after, so you can start to skip some of the training on maybe some of the weaker Italian auto-reloading heavy tanks. A medal, personal reserves, blueprint fragments, anti-duplicator Those credit charges, boosters will be very nice. New female crew members, crew books... So just to show you these rewards more, if you're wondering what will the female tankers look like. So we have Violetta, Metal Skya, who I've managed to zoom in a little bit on here. Then at rank five, we've got Carol Frost, as we can see here. Then at seven, we have Freya Winterson, who's looking a little bit stern there. I think she's been locked inside a little bit too long. And then finally, we have Frostine Blanchet, who I think would look very fetching inside a French tank. And just to clarify, the credit boosters are full-blooded plus 50% but they are for an hour. So just getting to festive atmosphere nine, which <laughs> I say just getting, it's going to be a tricky task unless you decide to uh, buy a load of loot boxes. We'll get you 10 hours of credit boosting. And if you combine that with Wargaming's credit boost from this holiday season, <laughs> you're going to be making hundreds of thousands every game. 2D style. So there's a 2D style at 10 as well. atmosphere level. The first of four holiday guests will arrive in your garage. So the same snow maidens are Choose returning. Choose one of the snow maidens and receive a gift from her. Visit What's the in the box? Every day to receive your gift and increase the special present level. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can actually get five 
times experience missions. And it looks like you can get four of them for visiting them every day. That can be incredibly useful if, for example, you're trying to grind through that stock tank and you don't have the free experience to be able to use on it. You can probably stack them up as well. Maybe you could even save them for the Italian auto reloading heavies, but that would mean that you were never going to uh, play a tank that you didn't actually win in the more than once. Is, the higher the minimal level of decorations that you can receive from maidens. Okay. To so scale that's quite useful because previously sometimes you would get the low level decorations, whereas really what everybody wants is the level five decorations. So that should help. But again, Wargaming are strongly encouraging you to play every day to be able to achieve that putting behind time gated stuff. But I can understand why they have to if the rewards are that good. And receive only level five decorations from the snow maidens. You have to visit them 19 times. 19 but times? Gonna get exhausted. Whew, good thing it was November it's last month. Row. It's okay if you skip a couple of days. Your progress will be saved. All right. The present level can be increased faster with shards. You can receive them by breaking the decorations you don't need. Okay, so break your decorations you to be able to accelerate your progress with the maidens to be able to get the level five decorations. So just to explain this whole system, uh, this is where you select where you, what decoration that you want, you select what level you want from what collection you want, and then you have these very important things called anti-duplicators. And my strategy for using the anti-duplicators is to use them for the decorations that can have multiple opportunities, or shall I say multiple outcomes. So for example, let's say there are three different trees and you only need one last tree to be able to complete your collection. Well, you've kind of only got like a one in three chance of being able to achieve that one. And trust me, I've had some pretty bad runs of luck with this uh, duplicator system. Whereas on the other hand, if there are two outcomes and you only need to get one of them, then you've only got one in two chance. So save your duplicators for when there are three or four outcomes and you only need one because that's really where you can just waste and waste and waste your dust. Cater to guarantee receiving a decoration that you don't yet have in your collection. Save them but for level fives. The charges responsibly. Yes. As there are not many of them. Yeah, just there use them wisely. Yeah, sure. In total. New Year, Lunar New Year, Christmas, and Magic New Year. Pretty much guaranteeing that we're going to be able to get boxes for all for of the different versions. Collection. You will receive corresponding decals and a festive Ooh, 2D style. Ooh, a panda style. That looks amazing. Oh, look at this. Nutcracker style. style. we got a panda style. Oh, dear. Look at this one. Some kind of universe. Time passing. Oh, dear. That's a bit depressing. Except those with unique exterior. What's this one? Oh, my word. I think this is a caviar style. You know, very Russian, Tavarish. Very Russian. There is also a special decal. What special? You will receive it after collecting all four of the new large decorations. They didn't show me what it is. They are animated this year. Oh. Make the garage even cozier. Wow, they've done a great job. Pretty, very pretty. Look at the polar bears up on the uh, after on the you hill. Reach festive atmosphere level ten. What do I get? You can complete your collections from previous years. Okay, pro tip: on my free-to-play account, I never actually get enough dust to be able to complete the collection from the current year. However, what I do is I go back to the previous year's collections that you can see by clicking through up here after you've got to fa festive atmosphere ten, and then. The styles from those old collections are actually really cheap this year compared to the new collections. And so feel free to use your your dust to be able to go back and buy the old styles because some of them look really cool, but more importantly, they're a lot cheaper and actually affordable if you even if you don't buy the loot boxes. Use shards to receive the required decorations. Did I call it dust? I meant shards. I've been playing too much World of Warcraft. Receive the long awaited reward. Complete this year's collections to receive the holiday ops bonus to credit. Very nice. Increase the festive atmosphere to level 10. Yeah. Then collect at least 72 decorations in each collection. That's quite a lot of decorations. decorations to receive the maximum bonus to credits. 50% extra credits. And that's not all. That That'll be absolutely wild. If you combine that with a credit booster, I, I know I said this earlier, you're going to be making hundreds of thousands. Well, like 100,000 each reasonable game that you have. And if you're playing a premium tank, oof, it's going to be even more meaty. Wait you during holiday but that's not all, apparently. Well, what is it, Wargaming? Starting from festive atmosphere level 5, 
you will start unlocking Holiday Ops vehicle slots that will give you bonuses to combat experience. Wow! Free experience or crew experience. But as all of you know, it's very frustrating because last year you could only get experience in your heavy tanks and your medium tanks. You could only get free experience by playing your light tanks and you can only get crew experience by playing your tank destroyers and your self-propelled guns. Depending on the vehicle type, this year, there is a new special slot. The Chuck slot! You will receive it after completing five missions from Chuck. Wow! At first, you can put only tier five vehicles of any type in this slot. Ooh. But each festive atmosphere level will also increase the tier of vehicles that you can select for this slot. I see. And the best thing about it is, you can choose yourself no. what bonus to receive. No, not credits. No. Okay, cool. It's just you experience, crew training, or free experience. Slot. Okay, I was worried that you could turn your FV4005 into something that got 50% extra credits because of your holiday atmosphere, 50% extra credits because of your chuck slot, and 50% credit boosters. The amount of people firing gold is going to be absolutely disgusting. Okay, but that's actually really cool. So you can get yourself... 50% extra experience by the looks of it in any vehicle after you've unlocked your chuck slot. And so if you're trying to grind your way up a tech tree or playing some of your stock tanks, that'll be a really good way to do it. And if you combine that with the five times experience games that you get from the snow maidens, then really it should be possible to get up an entire tech tree in, in a couple of days rather than a couple of weeks or a couple of months. And I'd like to say to Wargaming as well, great idea to be able to have the chuck slot, to, to have a unique slot for us to be able to put a vehicle in is pretty cool but remember the vehicles inside the chuck slot do actually get locked into it and so you will have to wait before you replace it so don't feel like you can just put all of your vehicles one by one by one into it to micromanage you're kind of gonna have to pick the one that you really want to kind of grind for free after some time the possibilities to make a lot of free experience at tier 10 could be wild you can apply a festive 2d oh no not toy trains later maybe holidays come to an end Grinch baby in the house denying toy trains, but not skatekeeping. In the world of tanks. Okay, so even when the holiday the season holiday ends, what happens? Atmosphere will stay with you almost until the end of January. Brilliant. Along with the holiday ops vehicles. What about the chuck slot? In addition to the bonus to experience, vehicles will receive the credits bonus. Very nice. You will have as many slots as you. The chuck slot unlock. stays. Okay. Vehicle. This is big. This is really big because. If Wargaming decide to not launch the Italian auto-reloading heavy tanks in uh, December or in early January, then you're never going to be able to benefit from the extra experience. However, that chuck slot, if it looks like it stays, then you will be able to, in theory, unless Wargaming say otherwise, put your new Italian auto-reloading heavies in if they release them for the rest of January and get 50% extra experience, which will really help your progress up that tech tree change freeze time will increase it's going to change but from 30 minutes to six to hours vehicles using credits after each battle if you want the okay so you can spend credits hundred thousand not that bad i guess credits, if you're just wanting to switch quickly in the slots very the cool bonus will be equal to the maximum bonus you achieve during holiday ops wow you're even gonna get you extra credits as well even in the chuck slot increase the festive atmosphere level That'll be amazing for grinding up the Italian auto-reloading heavies. I think you can see how many times have I said that. What I really coming. want from Holiday Ops. Get ready to decorate your garage. Receive valuable presents from the snow maidens. Always fun. And celebrate <laughs> the holidays with your dear one <laughs> and old pals. Poor <laughs> giving you done great with Chuck Norris. You really have. That's so good. <laughs> All right, so. That was Holiday Ops 2021. Now let me quickly summarize and make sure that you know how to get the most from Holiday Ops 2021. Okay, so firstly, if you want to get all the decorations, and I know this as a free-to-play player, having played this on my free-to-play account, then you really will have to log in every day and try to do all of the daily missions that pop up. It looks like to be able to get the free boxes, aka the small boxes, there are going to be two to six boxes from daily missions, and there are also going to be six special daily 
tasks to be able to achieve, including the opportunity to be able to get them from advent calendar missions, which you will actually have to go into your garage, click the little advent calendar, and then click this, I want to participate in the mission box, which will be on the bottom right hand corner of the pop up. If you want to get to Holiday Atmosphere 10 without the need of having to purchase the premium loot crates, which will undoubtedly have the, the tier 5 decorations inside them, then make sure you're logging in every day and just try to complete those missions in all of the different sources that you see here. And if you're able to uh, do all of that, you, apparently you can get 723 small boxes in 32 days. So that means that there's about 20 boxes every day that you could be able to get your hands on. The next thing that I will be doing is trying to see whether this discount on vehicles can be applied to the future Italian auto reloading heavy tank tech tree. But I really don't think that's going to be the case because Holiday Ops will end end on January the 11th so I expect you are going to have to apply these discounts on vehicles before when I guess the Italian auto reloading heavy tanks will come into the game which will probably be mid to the latter part of January. However if any of you haven't rebought the tier 6 Italian medium tank to be able to start grinding the about 50,000 experience you're going to need on it to be able to purchase the tier 7 Italian auto reloading heavy tank when it comes out then Maybe you should wait till you repurchase it until you can get the 60% discount off tier 6 from completing Chuck's missions. And these Chuck's missions, they're, they're, they're going to be a pretty good way to save credits. If we look at it from a tier 9 tank to get 30% off, that's the equivalent of saving about a million credits. And if we look at 20% off uh, a tier 10 tank, that's the equivalent of saving about 1.2 million credits. And the fact that you get to pick what tank you apply it to and you can put it on a tank that you don't already have will be a great opportunity for anyone who may Maybe doesn't quite have the experience to be able to get that magical tier 10 that they want but maybe they're going to have it in March or April I'm pretty sure it'll stay around for a year but don't quote me on that my next recommendation is to make sure you do not use these anti-duplicator charges willy-nilly I know it can be very tempting to use them I guess there's two strategies one is you could use them early to try and get non-duplicate level fives to be able to try and skip your way up to get a higher festive atmosphere earlier but really, if you want to complete the collection and have a chance of being able to get one of the unique styles that you get from completing your collection, then these anti-duplicator charges, as I explained earlier, should be used when you're trying to roll the dice or gamble to be able to get the one in four that you could possibly get. The next thing that I recommend if you want to be able to get all of the decorations, you want to have a better chance of getting level five, is to log in every day and at least click your snow maiden and receive her gift not only will it give you some five times experience missions but more importantly once you've visited them 19 times then that means that they will always give you level five decorations which will give you a lot of dust if you break them down or alternatively maybe you can get lucky and get one that you don't already have and so there you have it that's pretty much everything this is the best event for the year to be able to invest time into the game to be able to get the most out of it you're going to be able to accelerate through tech trees faster than ever before you're going to be able to get more credits than is possible at any other time of the year you're going to be able to get free, up to free discounts across any vehicle of your choosing tons of female tankers which will come with brothers in arms aka sisterhood of steel as a zero skill perks so they'll make fantastic commanders for your vehicles and you'll even get chuck norris and importantly chuck's slot you're not sure if i should keep saying that um to be able to use it all the way through the, this holiday season and also importantly January up until the end of January to still be accelerating your progress and your credits in any vehicle of your choosing. So I want to finish as I've really tried to be highlighting to you all the way through here. If you want to be able to get all of these rewards, do your homework. Hopefully I helped you out here. You're really going to have to log in every single day and at least click your maiden and try to do some of Chuck's reward, Chuck's missions. It's not going to take the longest amount of time every day, but if you absolutely, utterly want to get all of the rewards without having to buy the premium loot boxes this year, it's going to be your only chance. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was it for today. Hopefully this breakdown was useful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. But if you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments, what are you looking forward to the most from Holiday Ops 2021 this year? And what do you think about the fact that Chuck Norris is going to be in the game? What tank would you put Chuck Norris into? <laughs> I don't know which one I... Shall I put him in the Churchill gun carriage? I mean, if, if he decides when the game ends, then surely it'd be best to put him in one of the biggest guns in the game, right? I don't know. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.